Well, here we are stood in front of the Lotus 125 with two very well-known faces from the world of Formula One. Uh, this man, John Alessi, needs no introduction whatsoever. Uh, this man, Gino Rossetto, is the Director of Corporate Operations for Group Lotus. Ferrari fans, you will have seen Gino many, many times in the Ferrari garage over the years. And Gino, now you're with Group Lotus. You kind of got John Alessi involved in a special new project. Well, I met John in 1991. Uh, I used to clean up after him, bring him to the airport, do the basic logistics. I was just starting off. But I've got to say in uh, 18, 19 years in, in the business, I've met so many Formula One drivers I had a chance to see. But if I would have to talk about one that was purely passionate in, in the condition at times at Ferrari where, you know, what would come later at Ferrari was not what he had. But it was continuous dedication, every race, full passionate. The craziness, the Jean Lazy, you know, what the way we love him, the way he was known, uh, hot blooded, but you know, that passion. And I think, you know, to be able to, to, to what we're rebuilding here is, is a thousand year people passionate of, uh, at Lotus. And you know, to bring projects like the 125 to life is, you know, if somebody will get behind a car that is a unique project like this, is someone that's a passionate. And why not give them, you know, one of the most passionate guys in the sport? You must have treated this man very well over the years. That, that's the best CV I've ever heard. Well, you know, I, uh, with Gino, we, uh, we grew up together. Uh, at one stage, I have to leave him, but uh, we were doing the same business in Formula One. So in um, all the Grand Prix, I was uh, with him, talking with him. We, we keep the, a very close relationship, but uh, you know, to have a friend like him call me when um, I was not in uh, motorsport anymore and saying why you don't come why you are not coming uh, with with me in uh, Lotus uh, I thought it was a joke because uh, it was such a, a, a good idea and yeah. I love to uh, to join him and to join Lotus and you are the Lotus ambassador you know you've already had a sneaky little look in the cockpit of the uh, the type 125 uh, you're going to be testing in Vallelunga aren't you and making sure that by the time it hits the uh, uh, the customer sales stands everything's going to be perfect yeah everything will be perfect and you know to be uh, to have uh, this idea for for the clients it's uh, really unique uh, the car will be uh, a dream car to drive it's going to be an impressive car, fantastic braking, uh, good uh, control. I will uh, make sure uh, nobody will be afraid, but will be really exciting to, to drive the car. It would be wrong to get you to come and talk to us here on the Lotus stand and not ask you for your predictions for 2011. Can, can it be better than 2010 in Formula 1 terms? Well, uh, the whole championship has been extremely ex uh, exciting, even the last race, of course. But uh, to be honest, uh, to, to be more exciting than uh, what we had last year, it's, it's not easy. But uh, for sure, with a new regulation, now with a, with a CAS system, and I'm sure now with Lotus Renault, we're going to have, a, uh, with Kubica and uh, Petrov, maybe um, drivers who can uh, disturb the, the top teams. Can you see Group Lotus and Renault and the partnership working for, for podiums consistently, maybe a race win at uh, any stage? For sure, definitely, uh, especially, I will say, uh, much more with uh, uh, Kubica because uh, he has a, not only the talent, he's a fighter, he is uh, a really special driver on, uh, on a group. He knows how to overtake, how to keep the position. I'm sure he can win. And you'll drink to that, Gino, I'm sure. Let's hope we'll see the way things go, but uh, cross our fingers. Uh, I think, you know, we've got uh, a great team, what these guys did last year. Uh, what have been a dream for us to finish in these conditions this year. So, I mean, we're looking forward uh, to working with these uh, new guys. And uh, like I said, we're, we're crossing our fingers and pretty confident that we'll be able to uh, fight, you know, amongst the top teams. And I think that's where Lotus belongs. And uh, there's no discussion that's exactly where Lotus belongs. Gino, Sean, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very That's much. the message. Cross your fingers for Lotus.